All right, YouTube, we're here at Fort Worth Regional with Lewis. He won the Edison Time Wizard single limb tournament for this Light and Darkness Dragon winner match. It was 32 players. Yeah, 32 players, yeah, single yeah. limb. And this man here beat me in the finals, Lewis. <laughs> and what deck are you playing? Uh, I'm playing uh, Diva Zombies, Diva or Zombies. Uh, a build of it. Um, I got to give you know credit to who designed it. This yeah. is Beast Mode's deck. Beast almost, Mode, yeah, almost him. card for card, mm -hmm. except one uh, one change essentially. And and I'll, and I'll uh, talk about it once it once it comes to it. But right. uh, go ahead and get started. You want any shout outs before we start? Uh, absolutely. Shout outs to all my all my boys that are out here still playing. Um, right. Actually, they're still going on right now. Yeah, the second winner mat, right? Yeah, the yeah. second winner mat. Right. Uh, shout outs uh, to my guys, Legacy, of course. The sheriff is in right here. Uh, shout outs to pretty much Epic Cards and Games for, for hosting a great event. I mean, these guys had a 505 man regional. For Advanced uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! For yes. Advanced Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, yeah. And they had to cap it. They had to turn some people away because we just didn't have space. We started a little late because we couldn't uh, have space, no to space to play. Yeah, yeah. There was no space to play. Um, so with that being said, shout outs to all of them, you know, all the judging staff, they did great. Um, seeing wonderful faces on my boys. Um, if I miss anybody, I'm sorry guys. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, let's get started. Uh, we're gonna go with the spells first. Spells first. Uh, double Book of Life, um, Mind Control. Oh yeah, flip it. Yeah, flip it. Double Book of Life, Mind Control, MST, and Brain. That's it. That's the only spells? That, that's, those are the only spells, five spells. Everything does something. Right. Everything does something, right? There's, there was no reason why to run additional stuff that would or wouldn't probably do anything, right? Wait, where's Heavy? Oh, it's not in the main deck? Oh, yeah, okay, okay, you'll, okay. You'll see there. You'll see there. Just no like, foolish? Spoiler, no foolish. No foolish? No foolish. Okay, okay. No foolish. I wanted just stuff that I knew was going to be reactionary and do something, right. period, right? Steel monster, steel monster, kill back row. Effect grave. Monster born, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Um, so that was it. Just five spells. The traps are what's really heavy. Yeah. Um, definitely what's really heavy, of course, you got your standard uh, mirror, mirror force. force. You're one of. Trap you're one of. Return. You're one of Solemn. You're one of Torrential. You're one Hall, right? Um, that's pretty much your your one of. You know, can't remember more, more than one. So standard standard cards. Um, where it starts to get a little interesting is right here. I ran one of each main. That's not one compulse, yeah, one yeah. bottomless, one one deep prison. Um, why? Uh, simply because each one does something different, right? I like it. Uh, e each one does a particular different thing. Um, you got the one main dust tornado, oh. back back row removal. No heavy but dust. No okay, heavy we're gonna get to it in a second, right? Yeah, we'll yeah, get yeah, to yeah, it in yeah. just a second. All right, uh, two double starlight rows. Ooh. Uh, yeah, because I play so many traps. First turn setting uh, one of these, and what I'm about to show you right now is is insane yeah um it's helped me so many times so the other the other thing that is really just amazing yeah. is crap iron scarecrows um mm -hmm. they they work so well and then first turn setting just this into a heavy for them to heavy you bring out the, the rose and you have a way to protect it out the, yeah. every single time you did this to me right you had two of them and a starlight mm -hmm. yeah i remember yep so these are great and the reason why we run this is I decide when I want my monsters to, to die. Right. Right? So it's a it's just a reusable negate attack. Attack, okay, stop. I, if I, do I need my monster to die? Nope. Then we're just gonna stop it. Next turn the same thing until I can know that I can go off. Yeah. Then we'll let it we'll let something die off, whether it's a recruiter, whether it's a goblin zombie, anything like that. And then the last card is this oh, right here, oh, the ultimate, ultimate Just offer. one? Just one. That's the main change between my build and Beast, uh, Beast Mode's build. He ran double ultimate offering. Yeah. Right? I just run one um, simply because I felt what I ran instead, I like better. Okay. So now monsters? Now getting into the monsters. So we're going to start off with, you know, the, the, the one zombie. Uh, let me see here. I should have put these in order. Sorry, guys. Uh, the one play, or the one Reaper, the one Mizuki, the one Plague, your double Goblin, which is standard, and then, of course, your double Pyramid Turtle. Where the other variation, we're not running the uh, the ultimate offering, is in the ill blood. Right. So we'll run the I ran the ill blood over the uh, ultimate uh, over the second ultimate offering, simply because going from pyramid turtle into ill blood is amazing. It catches so many people. Yeah, it caught guard. me off guard in the finals. It, it <laughs> I, so I, I was like, what guard. the? I was shocked. And then we'll, I was mad too. I was yeah. like, is he gonna now? Because you get like normal and then bring out a zombie, right? Correct. Yeah, normal yeah, yeah. and then bring out any one of these guys and just continue on going. Yeah. It, right. it definitely did catch me off guard. I yeah. Remember. 
So that's your, your, your zombie engine. Then we have, of course, the, the D.Va part, double D.Va, um, still standard. I thought you were playing three. That's what everyone's asking me, like, why aren't you playing three? I don't want to see it too often. Yeah. Um, I saw it at least where I drew both of them at least a good, I want to say, quarter of the time. Uh, so that's I'm, why it's only two, right? Yeah, that that's why it's only two. And no Gilman? Like, and no Gilman. Okay. No Gilman. There's really no way for me to capitalize on the Gilman. I mean, yeah, I can go into a level five turn one, yeah. but then what do I do? What do I capitalize? It's, and I lose my ability to synchro with a goblin. I'd rather have it to synchro into with a goblin than to just go into that, that level five uh, that level five catastrophe or android. Then of course we have a couple more darks. We have the Mystic Tomato. Two tomato. Um, Trag, Gale, Ghost, Ghost, Sangin, and then of course uh, my favorite card. Shout out to Donnell, his favorite card, always on, on stream, See, is, is the Triple Caius. This is why I cited three rogue against you. Then I, knew, you I knew it. I knew you were playing Triple Caius. <laughs> it, you have to. You have to. Yeah, I mean, for, no, 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 setting, no. A, yeah. setting a goblin with a back row uh, scrap iron? with a scrap iron, and then next turn, stopping the, the time. Guaranteed right? Oh, yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. All right. But that's the main deck. Um, We'll go side deck? side deck. Yeah, let's go side deck. 40? 40 cards, 40 card even, yeah. So in the side, again, this is pretty much the build from, from Beast Mode. I didn't change anything in the side deck. You had double Fossil Dyna, uh, one Cyber Dragon, double DD Crow, um, double Soul Taker. What's that for, the Soul Taker? The Soul Taker, uh, do block. Just so that they miss timing with the oh, Dublock. Dublock? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so that they miss timing with the Dublock. If I don't have a way of getting rid of it, um, or if I ran into fairies, the, the Dimensional Alchemist, again, this is timing with it. Yeah. Uh, here's our, the heavy. Oh, there it is. Here's okay. the heavy. The heavy is sided, um, but again, I hardly ever put it in, um, but it truly uh, made an impact when it did come in. Um, MVP for this entire day so was release. release. I saw release so many people. Yeah. Uh, like especially when someone puts a necro in grave, you activate soul release. You're like, are you training anything? Yeah. Forcing them to do that necro right then and there, then you can. You oh can yeah, kind of... I saw you did it to the flame bell zombie guy in the yeah. semifinals, and then you soul release me too. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it, yeah it, forces, it, it forces you to do it, and when they do it that way, the exact very next attack is what's negated. So right. if you ram with something like a goblin into something bigger that will normally yeah. die, yeah. it negates it, and then you can run into what you want to. Yeah, you're right. Um, then we have our traps. That the other three of oh the other yeah, that's, that's right. crazy and of course uh the, the other second guns, dust the second uh, dust so your main deck in those four and then put the second copy depending on what i'm facing right like yeah. this like this against value turbo is yeah. amazing yeah. right return their return their value play back up um things that things are attacking a lot then we go here right if i right. ran into uh, into let's say GDs like the or flame whatever, deck right or the flame yeah. bell yeah, deck yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. here so, um this if i see there if they're black running wings. something big you know then i run this black wings definitely um and then of course the last two cards that are just standard in pretty much everybody's build is point of yeah, the bugs yeah, yeah. um that's pretty much uh the, the Side deck. Extra deck. Extra deck is pretty standard. Yeah. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, you have your thought ruler, uh, your flame boot, your quizzes. This really did put in work today. Uh, it performed a lot better than I thought it was going to. Simply against, it's what won me the match um, against my round one, two, three, my round two opponent. He had uh, a substitute and a dupe frog, and only had a hundred left. Oh. Okay, so I synchroed and just pierced the dupe frog for a hundred. Nice. Got got me uh, got me the uh, the, the win. Dub? Yep, got me the dub. Here are your level fives, of course. Um, Miss worm. Miss never worm. went in. Yeah, never went into it, but it's nice to have. There's the Chimera Tech from Machines. Um, this played a lot today when yeah. you don't, you don't want to go into a six. Yeah. yeah, when you don't want to go into a six as far as like your Brio or your Goyo, yeah. that you're going into a couple of back row, this is great because you're like, okay, do I waste it? Do I not? But it's a 26 body right off the top. You have your high disc, obviously, your Goyo, uh, your Goyo, your Brio, right? Your black row, just standard. Double Stardust because I run the two, two Starlight yeah. Roads. Um, Dark in, which is standard. And then this guy right here. Everyone's been Where looking is at it. Where is that? From? Everyone's been looking at it. So uh, when, I was I saw this in the video. Where's it from? So it's from the structure deck, right? One of yeah. the very first structure decks with yeah. King Colossal. But I had a little cousin yes. and he drew on it. Oh. And he he was about four at the time. Okay. And he drew on it, he colored it. He said it's the it's the thing from Fantastic Four, and I'm yeah. like, all right, I can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. for a four year old's right, art right, style. Right, right. 
And so I've always kept it. I've kept it every single time. Um, and I've, I've never gotten rid of it. I've had old tees. I have old tees, you know, but I will never not run this copy of it just because it was done by my little cousin. Yeah, yeah um, And of course, just uh, some tokens. Yeah. Obviously, just a couple of tokens there. But that's pretty much the build. Yep. Um, it was great, you know, uh, real, real, real great uh, play. Any changes you want to do? If I were to change, if I were to change anything, it would probably be the main. Um, I want to try out the pure build with the double uh, ultimate offerings and no ill blood. Um, or I would drop down one tomato and maybe add the maybe add the other ultimate offering over the tomato. Um, very rarely, or actually not very rarely, uh, almost every time that I sighted, I would side out one of these so beasts. Is this ultimate offering diva zombies because you're playing one offering? I, I guess it I could mean, be. Guess, um, yeah. I don't know what, what Beast Mode called it. Uh, I think he did call it uh, ultimate offering zombies Diva's or ultimate zombie. diva zombies. Um, I just know that it, you know, shout out to him. He, he, he designed it. I said, you know what, let me try it. And I liked it. And you went 5 0. And I went 5 0. Oh, this man. All right, man. Yeah. Congrats, Lou. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Next